Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to convert an improper fraction to a mixed number, and how to convert a mixed number to an improper fraction. Now when converting between these, keep in mind that they are always going to be equivalent. For example, if we convert a mixed number to an improper fraction, both the mixed number and improper fraction are equivalent. They are just in different forms. Depending on the situation or type of problem, sometimes we want to have improper fractions and sometimes we want to have mixed numbers. So we need to be able to convert between them. Let's jump into our examples, starting with number one, where we have 11 thirds. This is an improper fraction. The numerator, the top number, is greater than the denominator, the bottom number. This means we have a value greater than one whole. Let's change this to a mixed number. We do this by dividing. We divide the numerator by the denominator. So 11 divided by three. Now once you have this down, you'll be able to do it without writing it out. But for this one, let me write out the problem. So we have 11 divided by three. So how many whole groups of three out of 11? Well, three, that gets us to nine. That's going to be the whole number portion of our mixed number. So three whole groups of three out of 11. Three times three is nine. And we end up with a remainder of two. We did not hit 11 exactly. So that remainder is going to be our numerator. And then we use the original denominator of three for the denominator of our fractional part of the mixed number. Always check to see if you can simplify the fractional part of a mixed number. Two thirds is in simplest form. So we are done. Let's move on to number two where we have 46 tenths. So again, we need to divide. 46, the numerator, divided by 10, the denominator. Let's write this one out as well. So we have 46 divided by 10. So we need to think how many whole groups of 10 do we have in 46? Well, four, that gets us to 40. Four whole groups of 10. So that's our whole number for our mixed number. Now we do not hit 46 exactly. We have a remainder, something left over. So four times 10 is 40. Let's subtract and we get six. So a remainder of six. That remainder is our numerator and we use our original denominator of 10 for our mixed number as well. Now the fractional part of the mixed number for number two can be simplified. We have a greatest common factor of two for the six and 10 here. So we can divide both of these by two and we get four, six divided by two is three, 10 divided by two is five. So our final simplified mixed number is four and three fifths. Let's move on to numbers three and four where we have mixed numbers and we are going to convert them to improper fractions. And we do this by multiplying and then adding. So I'll show you the process first and then show you how and why it works. So we start at the bottom and work our way up. We multiply and then add. So five times four is 20 plus two is 22. So that is our numerator. Again, we did five times four is 20 plus two is 22 we keep the denominator of five the same. So 22 fifths is our improper fraction. And the reason this works is because let's think of four holes. Now I'm going to write out four holes as a fraction using this denominator of five. So for example, one hole would be five over five. And I'm picking five because that's our denominator. So this is going to make it easier just using that denominator. Now we have four holes. So 
5 fifths, 5 over 5, plus 5 over 5. That would represent two holes, but we need four. So let's do another one. There's three holes. Four holes plus our fractional part of two fifths. So these right here represent the four holes. Then we have the fractional part, two fifths. So let's add all of these up. Five plus five is 10, plus five is 15, plus five is 20, plus two is 22, and our denominator is five. So we can see that we got 22 fifths. Now using this method right here is a lot quicker. It's a shorter way than writing everything out. So again, multiply and then add. Let's try another one and move on to number four where we have seven and one eighth. So we start at the bottom and work our way up. We multiply and then add. So eight times seven is 56 plus one is 50 seven, and then we keep our denominator of eight. So 57 eighths for number four. There you have it. There's how you convert improper fractions to mixed numbers and mixed numbers to improper fractions. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.